Hey everybody, it's Knox, and today we're going to do a quick little video because there has been a pretty large supply chain attack in the last couple of days here. This article here from Sansec tells us about the polyfill supply chain attack and how it hit over 100,000 sites. Polyfill is a CDN, that's a, a content delivery network, and what happened was is this polyfill used to belong to a community and at some point it was sold in February to a Chinese company. So there it is. I'm going to make that a little larger. Hopefully everybody can see it. And they bought the domain and the GitHub account. And since then the domain was caught injecting malware on mobile devices via any site that it embeds. And it uses the CDN polyfill.io. So now that this has been revealed it's important that sites get out there and start making sure that they're not using the CDN. This is one of those supply chain attacks that reminds me of a log4j kind of thing where we found out about log4j, it was really terrible, and a lot of people didn't know if they were even affected by it because log4j was a Java library that you either had it in your code or you didn't, but it was usually down in there as a dependency and you didn't even know you had it. And in this case, this CDN polyfill.io may be something that you're using on your website that you don't even know you're using. So it's on a lot of sites. And in fact, so many, let's look at Twitter. We love Twitter. Oh, excuse me, X. And here on X, this is Theo. He's a researcher here on X. And he pointed out that Hulu, this was yesterday, that article was from the 25th. Uh, tweet is from yesterday, the 26th. And he points out that Hulu still has CDN polyfill.io in the site if you pull up in the inspect window here. Now, I do think this may be regional. I tried to do it myself here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it didn't work. So I think it has to do with which region you're in and which CDN it's going to try to pull from. Uh, wherever Theo's at, it's still trying to pull, pull from polyfill. Now, if I go back to the article here, what happens is when you pull from the CDN, you say that you need to get certain scripts back. And when it pulls the scripts back, and of course it has it based on, it's showing here based on like your architecture, but the indicators of compromise, and this is what we're going to focus on here, are these URLs. And I would like you to take a second and tell me if this URL looks strange to you. Do, 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 do. Yes, it does. It is not Google. It is Googie. Googie, this is called typo squatting. And typo squatting is when you take uh, a word like Google and you try to replace it with something, in this case, with an I, so that your I just goes over it and you think that you see Google, but it's not Google. It's Googie. Googie Analytics. That's how they're uh, putting those in and hoping it'll just slide by. And according to the article, it, you could get redirects. There were some pornographic either ads or sites. There were scam sites that you were getting. Oh, sports betting. Here we go. Uh, instead of going to where you're supposed to go to. So that's how that works. Now, let's talk about how this works in a supply chain attack, in case you don't know. So with the CDN, it's a little different supply chain attack. What you've got here is on your website, you have uh, scripts that you're using and you have a source for those scripts and they're not all written locally or, or wherever you're pulling from the website a lot of times the source is from a third party so the script here it's pulling the source cdn polyfill.io and then there would be a whole other the rest of the url i've truncated it there but they would request over here and say here's the script that i want from you polyfill I don't control polyfill. So the contents of this script are controlled by polyfill. So they can put anything they want in this script. And I am trusting them when I request the script that they haven't tainted it, compromised it, poisoned it, whatever the word you want to use. So I reach out to polyfill, ask for a script. It comes back. I receive the script and then I execute it. And when you execute it, you can see here inside is the Googie analytics instead of Google analytics. And now I am getting compromised responses back. This is running in a browser. They get, that means they have code execution. They can redirect my browser. They can do a lot of things. 
So that is how this particular type of supply chain attack would work in the case of a CDN. And again, if you have a website that's using this, it needs to be updated and, and changed immediately. Do not use cdn.polyfill.io. Many of you know I work for Reversing Labs, and let's look at Spectra Analyze. So in Spectra Analyze, I think some people don't realize that we don't just do files, we do URLs as well. And so you can see up here, I've put in URI, www.googieanalytics.com. And it came up with several hits on this. We cared, I cared specifically, this is the main one here, the polyfill supply chain attack. We've already found it, it's two days old. We've already got it in the system. We're already got it on lockdown. So I open that in a new page, here it is. We already are categorizing it as malicious because we've got the feeds, we know about it, we've seen it, and we're gonna help you to be able to see it as well. We've got other tabs here. So we can see like how we caught this. We go down through here and it's just showing like the different places we've seen this network references for it. And then if we click over to our analysis results, these things have been run. We found it to be malicious. We have a timeline of when it was first seen and then that it was deemed that it was deemed malicious. We've got MITRE attack here that, that shows that there is spear phishing and spear phishing involved in this, like phishing links, but really this is mostly command and scripting interpreter. And in other words, it's trying to inject code that we do not want in our environment. And this is the one I really love down here on the end. We've got the relationship graph. And if you look at this graph, if we go further out, it's looking at a few other files, but I really like this. This is these network references of these CDNs. And the site that it used to do the initial analysis was pulling from all of these CDNs. Isn't that crazy? All of them. And the ones that we saw in the article, there they are, we find them. There's the polyfill, this Kuruza, Kuruza, I guess is how we say that. And two of those. So we've got this, we've got the analytics on it. We've already can see it. If you are using Spectra Analyze in your environment, we're gonna help you to be able to find out if you have this attack on any, if it's running through your environment and we can see it, we'll help you out with that. But I wanted to just make sure I made this quick video again, polyfill.io. If it's anywhere in your site, get rid of it because this is gonna be a supply chain attack that we're probably gonna see for at least a week, I'm gonna say, because it's gonna take people for the word to get out and for websites to start updating. So if you have the ability in your organization to block polyfill.io, I would do it now. Thanks for watching. And as we go, I went on ChatGPT and asked it to make a googie monster for me. And it made a couple of googie monsters for me. So there you go. All right. Stay safe out there.